Autonomous mode, 11.03, very cleanly scores five tubes on that goal. Their partner robot, 1465A, they also score for the Red Alliance. We got one goal each for blue, but I'm pretty sure that the number of tubes make a difference, so blue wins that autonomous round. I mean red, red, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not colorblind. Driver control mode, go. If I was colorblind, this match calling would be completely ridiculous. Red wins that autonomous period. 11.03 is like uber, uber, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Very consistent. They're really good. They're very, they just get what they want. They're very clean. They don't dump tubes everywhere. We've got two robots over here in the corner, 1465 and 563, banging into each other. See, this is where defense begins to happen in these matches. Earlier in the weekend, everyone's nice. They're just trying to score. Now they're just trying to keep everybody else from scoring. There's been about nine qualifying matches. Everybody's had their chance to score. Now they're just going to try to get in each other's way. 563 and 1465B. I mean, A, 1465A. Kind of having it out and over in the corner. Right now, we're about tied. Red's got two goals. Blue's got, no, they have four. One scores, one D scores. Under a minute left to go. The Blue Alliance. We've got two teams from Titan Robotics. We've got one trying to climb the ladder. 563 Titan Robotics from California. Oh my gosh, they lost one of their hangers. Can they hold it? Can they hold it? They've got 30 seconds left to go. No, they can't. 1465A trying to impede their progress successfully, but they're not giving up. Oh, now they're hooked on another robot because that one, and that one makes the climb cleanly. That's 1103. Curahi from Orwell, Ohio. They get a high hanging. We've got another, we got. 11.03 definitely is high. 14.65A doing everything they can to keep off 5.63. <laughs>